This is the activity that you're going to be spending the most amount of time on and you can start it as soon as you start the course. This is going to allow you to explore the cognitive sciences of teaching and learning in order for you to have an evidence-based practice. For example, you may want to look at teaching strategies you might be using and find evidence for an assessment strategy. Why does it work? Or maybe you want to take a look at an educational myth. We ask you to explore something that might interest you in the cognitive sciences. It might be how does memory work or maybe taking a look at the cognitive learning theory. All of this exploration of the cognitive sciences, the ideas, locating resources, answering questions, providing evidence, will lead you to making a presentation where you will be presenting or sharing your ideas to your classmates. Your presentations will have a question and answer period at the end, so be prepared. You want to make sure that this is all finished by week 7. You can start right now in week 1. This is also going to require you to be very self-directed in getting the material that you need. You might have to go to the library online. You might have to take a look at some books. You might be ordering books. You might be doing some searches in Google Scholar or in other research resources on the internet. This is all directed by you. None of this is a sign because you are picking the topics you find most interesting to yourself and are taking ownership of your own learning. So start thinking about how we learn. Start brainstorming why we do the things that we do at work. Why does brainstorming work? Or does it work? Is it a good instructional strategy? Is it supported by what we know about how the brain works and stores information? Maybe you're interested also in the differences between the different types of memory and how you can use that for more effective teaching strategies that you have now. We do give you a list of topics that you might want to start with, but encourage you to explore the topics that you're really genuinely interested in. This is your chance to drive your learning in order for you to have an evidence-based practice and enable you to be able to explain everything you do in the classroom or in your learning environment. All the activities that you do in this course will be leading to this presentation. I'm looking forward to seeing you present what you found interesting in the cognitive sciences of teaching and learning.